course. It's like five degrees cooler than what it was yesterday. Thus, it feels great. The shade is on my porch. So the stars have aligned in my favor. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Just wanted to share something today. I hope as you sit down and watch this video that you're not only in good spirits but in good health. You know, what I'm sharing today has to do with patience. You know, typically when people speak on patience they're speaking on it in regards to others. But I'm talking about having patience with yourself. So in this case, with myself, you know, uh, when I was a young person, I had a problem with uh, my temper. You know, getting upset over something that was not that serious. Right? And I've done a lot of work over the years probably the last 15 years that's been one of the main things that I've tried to make a concerted effort to reduce you know because it doesn't necessarily have to be you know swinging on somebody or something just from the top to the bottom being able to <clears throat> encounter nearly anything and not um, let it get to you, you know. And since not only on my channel or on other social media that I talk about honesty a lot, you know, that's why I'm standing here today because if I didn't practice honesty, then there's no place for me to speak on it. You know, like when your grand, when your grandparents or your parents or something tell you, you know, I practice what I preach. I don't just tell you to be good. It's because I do the same thing in my life, you know. But I can also have a short lease on myself as far as that kind of stuff goes because at times um, I'm too hard on myself, you know. And that's primarily because most people understand that as humans, we can't reach perfection in basically any area, you know, but, and I accept that, you know, but when I fall short of what I expect of myself, it can probably be more disappointing than it really is. You know? And in practicing honesty and not just speaking on it, living it, you know, I got upset last week with trolls on the internet. And it's stupid because that's, that's their whole existence. You know, they live to get under people's skin and they, you know, a majority of the time, they don't even mean what they're saying, you know, but it's like this toxic thing that's became a huge popular thing on the net recently where, you know, instead of interacting with people on how you genuinely feel, um, the popular thing is the cloud chase or to 
say things that you have no idea whether they're true or not just to get attention, just to get clicks, just to get likes, or just to get people co-signing with you in the comment section. And which this is already something that I'm hip to. That's why I be so. That's why I was so disappointed in myself. You know, I've I've um, had some counseling sessions with older family members and my family to try to help them avoid some of them pitfalls. So that's what's kind of funny about me getting upset about the shit. You know, as a result, I took some actions that not not only um, hurt my channel, but hurt myself. You know. And sometimes it's important, not sometimes, all the time it's important to keep those things in perspective, you know, because I went and I deleted all my CBD content. I took it off my other social media platforms as well. And um, before I had even realized it was a mistake, I thought to myself, like, all the people that have interacted with you that have told you, you know, like, this aspect of your content helped me, or, you know, after watching your video, I felt a lot less anxious about making a purchase, you know, because after watching you for a long time, I trusted you, you know, like, I get that when you first interact with someone, just on this tip, you know, that you come across their content or whatever, that... You, just like in life, you can't always trust somebody the first time you run across them, you know. But uh, when I made that choice, one of the first thoughts that came up before I had even realized that it was a, um, a net negative is that I thought to myself, like, what about those few people that I've had contact with that um, got some really positive things from that content you know and I also thought to myself like they'll come back still looking for that and because I do a fit it's gone and how is that gonna make that individual feel or those people feel you know you know now the most um, the most obvious thing is that like those videos were the lion's share of my traffic like I would have a, a unboxing video that would have hundreds of views, you know, and I have other videos where I'm pouring my heart out with my poetry or talking about um, societal things that concern me, and it wouldn't even be a percentage of that, you know. So, you know, uh, in hindsight, you know, I didn't do any favors for the people that, uh, get something positive from that content nor did I do my channel any favors but in the spirit of honesty you know like I can't I'm not the type of person to just hide it or lie about it you know but it's a positive thing because you live and you learn although these are things that I should probably already know In the moment, I felt like it was better to do that and, and get it out of my sphere, the toxic negative energy, rather than go off on somebody. Like, do something stupid, like curse somebody out in the comment section, or, you know, something that makes you look like you're 15 instead of my real age. But it's all good. I got some things in the works to try to rectify my genius choices and shit. Um, I'm also gonna slightly mix it up a little bit more. You know, like long time ago, I used to do e juice reviews more often. <clears throat> Some of them I didn't share on my YouTube. But then when I started doing the unboxings, that's what I did mainly aside from either my poetry, my 
deep talking sessions or my video game streams. And so uh, I decided to take this as something to mix it up a little bit, you know, to throw more e-juice reviews in there because, you know, I do unboxings, but I don't necessarily review them, you know, just because of the difference in, you know, the chemical makeup of each person's body being that CBD can affect you differently person to person. You know, with e-juice, um, usually if the taste is there, you know, the composition of the e-juice, as long as one flavor isn't just totally obscuring or changing the taste of another, it's pretty straightforward person to person. So I got some things in the works as it regards to that. Some different e-juices on the way and some CBD products and stuff. But in closing, I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all day. You know. And if nothing, try to learn from me. You know, this may not be the biggest mistake anyone can make. You know. But in in and each time you do something like this in life, you can learn from it, you know? Because if you don't, you're just gonna keep repeating it. So whether your kid get on your nerves or your significant other, you know? Just think like, you know, I just heard somebody talking about take a deep breath, take, some, take a few seconds before you make a choice. And then you have to realize later on it's a mistake, you know? Come back, holler at me.